We've also seen this major repricing of rate expectations in recent weeks, and that's going to have significant implications for your bottom line. I was listening over to some commentary earlier. I think he said last quarter that you're expecting two and a half rate increases in 2022. Where do you stand now, given the change that we're seeing in the United States and, of course, rapidly shifting expectations on what the rates trajectory is going to look like moving forward? Well, my own base case assumption is a rate hike every quarter, so you get four hikes in the course of the year. But I'm mindful of the fact that, uh, you know, market watchers and some houses are talking as many as uh, seven rate hikes of the year. You just said Fed Governor Bullard is talking about getting to 1% in the first half of the year itself. I think a lot of what actually happens uh, will be data dependent. If the inflation rate continues to stay sticky, and if you continue to see a six uh, or seven handle, over the next uh, few months, then it could be that the Fed and central bankers will react more sharply than I anticipate. Uh, my own sense, though, is that because of base year effect, uh, as well as uh, some of the transitory effects are running off, you should start seeing inflation leveling off uh, as you get into the summer. And if that is the case, then my four uh, rate hike base scenario might well come to pass. Yeah, look, I think it's anyone's guess at this point, and you're exactly right. It is going to be data dependent, as the Fed says. But help me understand what this is going to mean for the bank financially, because obviously this could be a significant tailwind. Can investors perhaps expect rising dividends, larger payouts as a result of that windfall? Well, you know, we are obviously very um, positively uh, correlated to interest rate cycles. Uh, in the past, you know, in the last uh, two years, uh, the eight rate cuts since the summer of 2019 have caused us to give up almost $3 billion in interest income. So it's not difficult to understand why a corresponding increase in interest rates should give us a $3, 4000000000 billion tailwind in terms of the total income that we create. We've uh, sort of guided to 18 to $20 million of in in income gains per basis point of interest rate increases. Uh, a lot of this does flow to the bottom line. So that's obviously very helpful and very healthy. Against this, we'd have to keep one eye on, does the macroeconomy slow down? And do you start winding up seeing a little pickup in credit costs as rates start going? But on a balanced basis, there's no doubt that we expect uh, the rate hike cycle to be extremely beneficial to a bank uh, such as us. Now, of course, as rates go up, uh, you know, we are already extremely well capitalized. And if you wind up accreting even more capital through better uh, bottom line and income growth, then there is every likelihood that we'll be able to reflect that in better payouts to our shareholders.